All right, hope everybody's having an awesome day. Today we are going to work on some tips for our fairway shots, fairway medals. Let's rock. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Glad you're here. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Today I'm at the uh, 13th hole at Rustic Canyon Golf Course in Moore Park, California. Long uphill par five. I'm sitting at 250 to the green. We're gonna get uh, three metal out and see if we can't uh, put it on. And I'll give you some, just a few thoughts to think about as you're uh, approaching shots like these. Let's go. Okay, so there's a few keys we want to make sure we're getting correct before we even go for something like this, okay? Because this is a, a great opportunity for birdie, but it's also a great opportunity for disaster. So first things first, know if you can make it. I'm right at 250, so if I hit a nice high cut shot with my uh, three metal, I'm right there. So I'm gonna go for this. So already, like, distance is good. If I've got 260, 270, uh, it's kind of out of my comfort zone. So I'm gonna pull back, maybe take a fairway, a different one, a hybrid, and lay it up in a good spot, okay? Or even a, an iron. But here, uh, I've got a good number, I like it. Also, the next key is, what's my lie? Because if I don't have a good lie, forget it, no chance. So I've got a good number right now. Great, I love my number, and I like my lie, okay? So I have a good chance to, to get there. And so I'm going to make that decision. Hey, I'm going for this. Good lie, good number, and I'm feeling good. So that's something I like. Good lie, good number. Okay, the next piece here is, do I believe in me? Do I have confidence? All right, so I have 250, it's a long par five. I just hit a good drive, I've got a good lie, I've got a good number. Do I believe in myself right now? Uh, Really, maybe it's the first hole and you're like, I don't know. But you've got to just know what was your warm up like. I had a great warm up, I had a bad warm up. Okay, so that all plays into this shot. Or if it's later in the round, I'm at the 13th hole right now, so I'm feeling good, hit some good shots, hit a solid drive, I'm feeling confident. So again, that goes into my decision. That's the next key is like, I feel confident that I can do this. I just hit my perfect fade, so I love that. So confidence is going to be the next piece of whether or not you're gonna be able to pull this guy off. There's one more thing I like to do to make sure that I'm, I'm right and mindset and everything's good before I pull the trigger on this shot. This next piece is critical. It's a little technique and it's a little mind thought all wrapped into one. What you have to do with your fairway metals is use the bounce, or the soul, it's really the soul, but I think bounce because I use the bounce in my other wedges. So I just think bounce, even though this is the soul of the club, all right? You have to use the soul of the club and that has to hit the ground. And this, the leading edge, no hit the ground, okay? If that goes and digs in the ground, you're in big trouble. Now. If this is digging into the ground and pushing the leading edge into the ground after you strike the ball, you're fine. But if you're coming down too steep, you're in big trouble. So I like to think, use the bounce, just like I were if I were hitting a sand wedge or something. I want that to hit the ground. I want that to interact with the turf, okay? And then you're gonna have good success with that. But how, the question is how, do we make sure that happens? That's the mystery, right? So that's where the technique part of this is. The mindset is use the soul or the bounce. The technique part is this. I need you, you want to make sure that your hands are really tight to your body here, okay? You, if you start getting your hands away from your body, you're bringing that way too high and you're gonna come in steep on it. So you want your hands really tight into your body. And so, 
I just make sure I have like lower hands here and it, it's set up. I don't want to be up here because that promotes this. Low hands here. I want my hands to really go really close to my thighs here on my backswing. You see Jason Day do this all the time. He's just in here. Okay, that's what you want. Right in here and keep it tight into your body. Everything's pulling into your body here. In tight here. And that allows you to get that sole of the club hitting the ground because that's really what I want. I want that sole of the club to hit the ground and you can hear it right through there. And when you're in tight to your body and that sole is in the ground, you're, you're good to go. And then it's just all rotation from this point. So those are the keys in making sure that you're hitting your fairway medals pure every time. You gotta have the right number. You gotta have a good lie. You have to have a mental confidence that you're gonna be able to pull the shot off. And then, little technique, you wanna use that sole. And how do you use that sole? You keep your hands tight to your body right in here. If you're tight in your body, you're rotating. And then your misses are gonna be tiny and your good shots are gonna be more plentiful. And that, my friends, is what we want every time we're approaching this type of scenario because you know it. Eagle opportunity with a great shot. Birdie, like birdie should be like, that should be your mindset. I don't wanna think pars here. I don't wanna think birdie. Let's, let's shoot for something better than a par. Whew, pure that one. <sighs> Again, so really the only swing thought I have is tight to my body here. Everything else is predetermined before I even step in like the batter's box is what I call it. I'm gonna make a birdie. Love you guys, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Uh, love you. See you in the next video.